Hey everyone, welcome to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm Sal, and today I'm going to be giving you an app inventor tutorial on a game called Get the Coins. So, in this game, when you click on that coin to get it, it appears somewhere else. You have to get that other coin, then this coin, then this coin. Let's get into it. Let's see how we can make it. Alright, so in this new project, I have my media files ready. You can choose your own images. Um, but if you really want these, let us know in the comments. Uh, so with that out of the way, um, did you notice in the app that uh, the coin can appear anywhere? Um, so if we have a horizontal and vertical arrangement, the image components cannot appear in this flexible way. Uh, also, image components cannot detect clicks too. So thus we're in introducing a new component called image sprite. Uh, you can find it over here with drawing an image. Um, so we will try to see, um, put it over here. You see that that action failed. Um, so we cannot put image sprite uh, unless we don't have a base for it. The base for it is gonna be a new component that we're gonna in introduce is uh, a canvas. Think of canvas uh, is something that is a playground for the image sprite. So we're going to rename this canvas to game area CV. Okay, so since the background image of the canvas is going to be the background image of the app, so what we want to do is if you remember uh, in the app, the background image scanned through the whole screen. So we know that. Uh, if that's going to be the background image of the camp uh, of the canvas what we want to do is we want to set the height to fill parent so that the canvas takes the height of the parent but also the width of the parent so what it does is it spans the whole screen now we want to set the background image to this now if we add the image sprite you see that the it succeeded let's rename this to coin is First, let's take a look at the properties. We see that uh, there is an interval over here and there's a picture that with that's gonna be shown over here. So say we select coin1.png for this. Um, you see that it's too big, so we're just gonna make it to 50 pixels, the height and the width. That's more like it. Right now, if you see in the app, there is nothing that you can do. It's just simply a coin on a background. Let's get to the blocks to see how we can achieve that. So first, what we want to do is uh, we want to see a random picture of whenever the app is loaded. So we don't see the same picture again and again. We don't want to see this same coin to picture every time the app is loaded. So what we can do for that is, so whenever screen one is um, initialized, that is whenever the app is launched, we want to change the picture of coin is to set coin is picture. And if you remember in the previous lessons, we learned how to pick a random item. So, so we're going to pick a random item. We're going to make a list of three blocks of those pictures that we have over here. So we have coin one, coin two, and coin three. So we're gonna make a list and pick a random out of all of these three. So let's just duplicate this three times. Yep. So we want to have coin one dot coin one dot png. Let's just copy this. So uh, we have coin two and coin three. Now what we want to do is uh, we want to also don't have the same position of the coin every time the app is loaded. So for that also we're going to see a pick a random number. Um, so what we can do is um, we're actually gonna see how we can move this 
to a different place in the canvas. So if you see, there are two coordinates, uh, X and Y over here. So coordinates, think of a coordinate as an address in this space. So say I give the image image sprite to the address of this place, it's gonna land over here. It's gonna address this place, so it's gonna land over here. So the address is actually defined by X and Y. So what X does is it's gonna move the picture horizontally. So if I change this number to so stay something bigger, say I change it to 65, see it move to the right. If I change this to something even bigger, say 150, it moved further right. But if I changed it to something smaller, so it's gonna move to the left. Similarly with Y, if I'm gonna uh, make the Y integer bigger, say I rename it to 300, it moved downwards and uh, if I say if I do say 150 it moved upwards so that is how you will see a random movement of this image sprite over the canvas how we can achieve that is first we're gonna set the coin is we're gonna set coin is dot move to um, move to over here we're gonna Pick a random number, random integer, um, and we have to duplicate this. So if you see what the random integer should be from one to, from one to the width of this um, canvas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the width of the canvas. Let's delete this. Give me your CV. Yes, so this is going to be the until the width of the canvas. Let's just duplicate this part. Let's remove this. Place over here. And this is going to be the height. So the y integer will be from 1 to, from one to the height. And the x integer for will be from 1 to the width. Okay, so the second thing that we want to do is, is that you remember that whenever the coin was touched, it was disappear and appear somewhere else after a certain period of time, like a certain period of a uh, certain interval. So let's just first program on how we can see whenever the coin is touched, how it can disappear and appear after a certain time. So what we want to do is we want to see that whenever the coin IS is touched, so whenever it's touched, we want to make it disappear. That means we want to set the coin is visible to false. That will make the coin is disappear. And after that, what we want to do is we want to start the clock's timer. And clock timer to, let's just duplicate this. To true this starts the clock timer and the clock starts running and starts counting after how much time it has to call this function when clock to timer so say if I have set the timer interval to a thousand so it's gonna call this function whenever the call timer enabled is set to true it's gonna call this function after a second after this was called so we want to see how we can program after the one second has been completed and we want to make the coin appear again in a random position. So for that what we can do is we can simply copy these blocks. Take a random picture at a random place again. And we want to set the coin visibility to true again so that it is disabled again. But how do we set the timer? When do we set the timer? So we, uh, when do we stop the timer? So we stop the timer whenever this one second is complete. So say we duplicate this part, put it over here. So whenever that one second is called, this timer enabled is gonna go to false again. Okay, so now if you see in the app, um, the coin is at a random place and it's not the same that we set. It's not coin2.png. 
So let's say we launch the app again. Let's refresh. Here, the coin is at a different place. Let's refresh again. The coin is at a different place and it's a different coin again. So if what happens if we click the coin now? It appears over here. What if we click over here? So you can see the app works just fine as we wanted it to. All right, so let's get over, go over what we learned today. We learned about Image Sprite, how Image Sprite can be used to display different images at different places uh, in a canvas and uh, how it has addresses in the canvas. We also learned about canvas which on which Image Sprite is are displayed. So a canvas is like a playground for the Image Sprite. And we learned about coordinates, uh, which is say something like an address uh, for the image sprite on the canvas and it has x and y coordinates where x coordinate is the horizontal address of it and the y coordinate is the vertical address of it. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.